Hi, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Uh, I hope you are doing okay. Uh, we are here with another webinar today, uh, two for one. You are lucky, lucky people. Uh, you are going to be hearing from Tor Vigata, University of Rome, uh, who will be here to discuss why you should study economics in the university. Um, we do welcome any questions. Please feel free to ask any questions throughout the whole webinar. We welcome that for you. Uh, if you can put those into the chat box at the bottom of our screen, we'll get to those at the very end of the webinar, but we may have a few people answering um, in the chat box as well. So feel free to send anything in. I'm gonna hand you over now to your host, Francisco. Uh, thanks a lot uh, for uh, the introduction. Uh, uh, welcome everyone. Um, my name is Francesco Sobrio. I'm the academic coordinator of the Master of Economics at the University of Tor Vergata in Rome, Italy. So I'm going to tell you a bit about uh, uh, us, okay, uh, and uh, the, um, the Master of Economics. Okay, so the, the roadmap of uh, my presentation today is I'll uh, tell you who we are. Uh, I'll give you a brief presentation of our program. Uh, I'll tell you a bit about our international opportunities. Uh, what kind of scholarships uh, and grants we do offer, um, uh, 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 the placements uh, uh, you know, of our grade, the graduates, and uh, some more technical details about the mission procedure. Okay? And you know, as mentioned before, if you have any question, you are more, more than welcome to, to, to ask uh, us as we go or at the end of the presentation. Okay. So first of all, let me tell you about uh, our university, Tor Vergara University of Rome. Uh, uh, this is a research-focused university. So we, of course, we care a lot about teaching, but you know, uh, uh, in uh, uh, our department of economic and finance, is also very much focused on, on research. We um, uh, rank uh, uh, on the 50, top 50 worldwide in terms of economic department and in the top five of economic department uh, in, uh, in Italy. Um, and uh, uh, tell you a bit about me. I'm uh, the academic coordinator of this master. I'm a professor of the Department of Economics and Finance. I'm also affiliated with the uh, GC for uh, research center in uh, in Germany. I got my PhD uh, from in economics from the University of Southern California, Los Angeles, in the U.S. I got and I have also a master in economics from Warwick University in the U.K. and a BA in economics from Bocconi University in Italy. Um, uh, alongside me, you know, where the, the Master of Economics is composed by a board. In the board, uh, there is Professor Gai Artucci, who is in charge of, uh, uh, you know, advising uh, students in terms of placement. Professor D'Amato, who is in charge of uh, helping uh, uh, me on uh, uh, selecting students. Uh, Professor Belotti, who is, uh, uh, you know, in charge of student relation and Erasmus coordinator, and Professor Adella, who is another member of the board, uh, which is um, you know, uh, also the director of the department. In, in, in general, the board is discussing issues about you know, uh, the structure of the courses, uh, you know, uh, discussing any need that student may, may have. Okay. So uh, an overview of, uh, of the master, okay? Uh, so we, uh, all, some of the, points I'm going to focus on. So this is a two-year master in economics. So it's entirely taught in English. We have international classes, meaning we have both a uh, 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 you know, percentage of our students coming from abroad and also a percentage of, you know, a, a certain percentage of our faculty is international, both in terms of the citizenship and also in terms of uh, international, uh, you know, background uh, uh, education and uh, network, international network they have. Uh, I'll tell you a bit about the personal tutoring we give to our students and uh, about uh, the excellent placement we, we do have in terms of our master. So there is a, 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 an advanced master in economics, meaning that in the first year, basically you are uh, going to be studying first uh, mathematics and statistics. So we give our students, uh, you know, the 
important tools that you need uh, to uh, you know un undertake advanced uh, class in uh, in economics so we have this uh, uh, you know uh, provide a strong quantitative background we also have a, a pre-course in statistics for students that do not have a background in this kind of topics then we offer a course in econometrics and we have a, a course in advanced microeconomics and in advanced microeconomics okay Alongside these courses during the first year, we have offered a course in coding for economic application, meaning that we teach and train our students in learning four main uh, 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 softwares, uh, MATLAB, R, Stata, and Python. As you may know, we may have heard of this. So these are uh, uh, softwares that are, uh, uh, you know, are very much in use uh in uh, uh, for data analysis okay and they're very much in demand also in the in the uh, in the private and public market for for economists okay and python for example is also software that you can use to to scrape data and uh, and do some fancy uh, uh, analysis uh, on that side okay so we we do uh, uh, train them uh, our student in uh, in this respect and the second year is that we offer more specialized courses in labor economics, law economics. So this is a course in, on antitrust economics, uh, public economics. And then we uh, also offer some uh, elective courses. The elective courses, uh, they fall in three main areas. One uh, is general economics. So we offer a courses in industrial organization, international economics, and behavioral macroeconomics. Then we have a group of courses that falls in the area of applied economics, okay? Uh, human capital migration development. So this is basically a course in economic development. Uh, we have a course in environmental economics, health, uh, health economics and political economy. And then we have uh, a very rich uh, uh, offering in terms of uh, uh, quantitative method courses. I would say it's, it's, it's pretty unique. It's, it would be difficult to, I mean, if you look at master, in economics, not just in Italy, but you know, in worldwide, you know, there are very few courses that offer this rich uh, set of uh, quantitative method courses. So we have a course in big data analysis for economics and finance. So basically, it's a course, for example, where we teach our students machine learning, or oh, for example, uh, how to classify uh, data. Uh, for example, let's say you have uh, uh, you want to know whether uh, the speech of a central bank uh, is uh, the, the governor of a central bank is as a positive or negative tone. This, for example, in machine learning, you can do that, and then you can use, for example, this to see what is the impact on the stock market, whatever. Um, then we have a course in macroeconometrics, so you know the advanced econometrics uh, of micro data, for example, firm level or individual level data. Then we have a course in structural econometrics modeling. So this is a course on the economics of uh, in the econometrics of networks. So let's say you want to analyze data where agents or firms are in a cluster, okay? Uh, or you know you have individuals in a, the interacting in a social media. This is the kind of econometrics you need to know to to deal with this kind of data. And then we have two courses in time series econometrics, time series and advanced topics in time series. You know, and you know, these are the kind of uh, courses to to deal with more macro or finance uh, data. Okay. Um, we do also offer to our students the possibility of doing any curricular internship. So to substitute one of these elective courses with an internship of 150 hours, and specifically, we uh, offer two types of uh, internship. So you can do. Uh, either you can go and work in, you know, do an internship in the private sector or in national international institution, or, uh, um, you know, we also offer what we call an academic internship. So you will have, you have the possibility to work as a research assistant for one of the professor of our department. And so especially for the one of you that you may consider doing a, continuing a studying and doing a PhD, uh, and no, we want to know more what research is about. This is a great experience to, to do that. Okay, learn a bit more about, uh, about that. 
Um, in terms of international opportunities, we offer two double degrees, I'll tell you a bit more. One of the University of Gothenburg in Sweden and one in the University of Konstanz in, uh, in Germany. And then we uh, also, uh, our students can also apply for Erasmus Plus overseas and uh, or also the, a program that is called thesis abroad where you can do your master thesis abroad. Okay, let me spend a few words about our double degree. So, um, the, we have this uh, a partnership with the University of Gothenburg and the University of Constance. So uh, in February of the first year, there is a call for application. So we have two positions for each double degree. So we have two uh, possibility of sending two students to Gothenburg and two students to Constance. The selection is based on their performance uh, in terms of the winter session of the first year, in terms of how many credits you do and your GPA. And so if you're admitted to this program, basically you're gonna spend your second year in this partner university, okay? You don't have to pay tuition fees to this university. So you will have to, you will keep, you pay the tuition fees to Dor Vergada, plus you can have uh, some scholarship uh, 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 thanks to Erasmus. And the idea is, so basically the idea is you're gonna do a first year in Dor Vergada and the second year in one of these partner universities. And at the end, you're gonna earn a double degree. So you're gonna have a master degree, both from Dor Vergada, say, and Constance or Gothenburg. Okay, so that's a, a great opportunity we offer to our students. In terms of scholarship, we uh, have uh, a, um, at the end of the first year, we have some student prize for the best performing students. So to the three best performing students, we have some monetary uh, prize that we give them. And during the program, we also have uh, an reimbursement for the GRE. So if you, if you undertake this uh, international uh, uh, standardized test uh, score, which is called GRE, especially for the one that are interested in doing a PhD, we do reimburse it, uh, you know, to uh, to give a, you know an incentive to to do it. Okay. Uh, in terms of tutoring, as I was saying, you know, we, uh, uh, we 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 are very proud of our tutoring service. So at the beginning of the first year, we assign each student to a personal tutor. So this is a professor of the master. So it's a person you can refer to, talk to whenever you. You want to advise you from quarter an issue. Of course, you can always talk to me. I'm the tutor of all um, uh, master students as an academic coordinator. But uh, uh, you know, apart from me, you you do have a, a personal tutor that is a, another person you can is there to talk you to talk to you whenever you need. We do have some more job oriented seminars. So we 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 uh, you know uh, towards the end of the first year we start having these seminars where we advise students on uh, their career, depending on their preference, so whether they want to work on the broad sector, the national international institution, and whether they want to apply for a PhD, we give them information for this different career path. And plus we have some alumni meeting where, you know, our alumni, you know, they come and they discuss their experience and you can uh, uh, hear about uh, what, what they're doing and, uh, you know, what, what kind of career path uh, they, they have done. Who are our students? So we are looking for uh, talented and motivated students. Okay, so uh, it is selective. So half, uh, only half of the applicants are admitted. Um, we uh, we do have our international classes. As I was saying, you know, thirty percent of our inter uh, students are international, and uh, we uh, have students from abroad. Uh, a current background, okay, not just economics, but also business administration, political science, international relations, engineering. So we 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 do look uh, for for students that have skills, but you know they are, they are motivated and talented. Uh, uh, not necessarily they have a background in economics. Okay, so it is a demanding program, but at the same time, you know our students perform really well. So the, uh, the, the class, uh, our class is very small. So we. The, the students are like 20, or we have around 20 students per year. So this means that we know we have almost more faculty than students. So we, we can really can take care of our students and give them a very a lots of focus on them. So this means that, you know, despite the fact that, you know, the course are demanding, our students perform really well. So 81% of students complete their first year on time. 89% of our graduates, uh, the, our students graduate on time and with an excellent academic performance. And about half, they do some international experience 
in terms of one or two semester abroad. Okay, so again, it is challenging, but you know we are there to, there to help. We 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 do have you know lots of uh, uh, focus. So we spend lots of time in in helping and focusing on our students, and this means that our students are, are do, doing do, uh, you know they have a very good performance. Um, we have very, in terms of placement, you know, I would say that our placement is outstanding. Uh, after one year uh, of uh, one year after graduation, basically all, uh, almost all of our students are employed. Uh, the main uh, fee progression figures are clearly data analysts. You know, uh, nowadays you have companies like uh, Amazon, Google, uh, or uh, you know, all big organizations, they look for people uh, that know how to analyze data and definitely that's something, you know, our students know how to do it. Uh, of course, uh, you know, some uh, work in the finance, uh, finance sector, of course, people you can then go on and decide to work on academia or in, uh, in some uh, uh, international organization. So in terms of, uh, of what kind of placement, we have basically an almost perfect split. So half our students, uh, you know, they decide to work uh, in the private sector or in national, international institution. Okay, so industry broadly, uh, broadly referred. And half of them instead decide to, to do, uh, uh, to pursue their uh, career in academia and do a PhD, okay. So definitely this is a very good program if you are interested in doing a PhD because it gives you a very good preparation background to go to a PhD, okay? But also definitely it's also a very good program if you wanna go work in, a, in, in, a, in the private sector or in a national international organization because the kind of skills that we give, we endow our students with are very much demanded in uh, both by institutions and uh, by uh, private sector. So this is just a snapshot of some of our recent graduates. You see uh, there are some uh, uh, people working as a statistical analyst at the World Food Organization, some people working as a policy analyst at the OECD, uh, some other people are the in the World Food Program, some uh, working on research analysts at the European Central Bank, uh, some uh, in uh, some uh, Italian institution, and others uh, uh, in uh, you know they have decided to uh, you know uh, you know focus more on research, you know, and they, they work as a research assistant in some prestigious international universities, or they have admitted to uh, you know important PhD uh, programs. Okay, and so these are other, you know, another snapshot of some of the uh, of the places where our uh, graduates uh, are, have been uh, have been working uh, recently. Okay, um, some detail now for the application. So, what's the time to apply? Uh, the, the application are open. So, if you go to our website. We're gonna post the link in the, in the chat. You have a link to the admission, and uh, then there is the process. Uh, within one month, you will receive the, 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 the answer from the admission board by mail. Um, what kind of material is required to apply? So you need to um, send a scan copy of your passport or national ID, uh, a self a scan copy of your high school diploma, or just a self declaration. A, a copy of the official scrap, uh, official transcript of the exam you have done in your bachelor, uh, and uh, your curriculum vitae. Okay. On top of that, uh, you know you can also add the cover letter, which is suggest why you are interested in coming to Dor Vergata to do your master. If you have a reference letter, also from your some professor, is also a good thing. Uh, some English proficiency certificate or some standardized test score like GRE or GMAT. Okay, these are not compulsory, but if you have it, the, the, you know, it's, uh, it's better to, to, to approve it. Okay. When the application deadline, okay, so if you are a, a non EU citizen, okay, and uh, uh, you don't live in Italy, then uh, the deadline is the 8th of June, so it's, it's approaching. If for all other applicants, it's the third of August, okay? 
So as I was mentioning, the English uh, language certificate is not required, but if you want to submit, you can submit it. And uh, one important thing is that if you're admitted to the master program, you cannot defer it to next year, okay? So if you, if you wanna, uh, you know, come here next year in, in a, after one year, you have to apply again, okay? The program starts at the end of August because, uh, you know, at the end, of, the end of August, we start having uh, the precursor in statistics, mathematics, and then later on statistics and coding. Um, and, uh, and so this is when uh, you, you should start uh, being in the regard to start attending courses. Uh, and uh, um, you, uh, and you, can, uh, enroll, you can apply even if you don't have a bachelor degree yet. Okay, uh, so you can, uh, um, let me, uh, so basically if you don't have a bachelor degree, but if you graduate at that one session, so basically if you graduate by, by October, okay, you can, you can apply and start attending courses in August and then once you graduate in October, you can register, uh, you know, at the last, uh, in the deadline, which is in early November, okay. So uh, actually, let me more be specific that if you are a non-EU student with a foreign degree, you must graduate by the pre-enrollment deadline that is established by the Italian embassy in your country. So you should check, you should check with that. Okay, so probably, you know, you, uh, you have to graduate by the summer uh, to, to register, but you have to check uh, this. Okay, again, you can email us about more data about this. Okay. We don't have a limit on the number of students admitted. Usually, I was, I was saying it's like 20, 25, 25 students. We, we kind of look for people that either have a background in economic theory, in quantity analysis, or they're highly talented and motivated. So this is the kind of student we, we are targeting. Uh, it's not possible to attend the program for the second semester, so you have to start in the first semester. And the tuition fees are uh, kind of limited. So it's, compared with many international programs. So we range from a minimum of 100, around 150 euros per year to a maximum of around 4,000 euros per year, okay? So this is decided according your to family income. So you, when, when you enroll, uh, you, you will have uh, to, you know, there is a way to calculate this and uh, your, uh, your tuition fees gonna be calculated according to this, uh, to this scale, okay? So the, we have uh, a wonderful admission program office. We have uh, Camilla, who is also here, Stella, which is also here with us today, who is uh, uh, helping us with admission, placement, promotion, and student assistance. Uh, Jennifer Vili is in charge of this issue and student price, and Susie White is in charge of uh, uh, the organizing lecture and exams. And uh, um, basically you can email uh, uh, you can use this email. We're gonna write it also in the chat. And uh, if you have any any question, you can uh, you can email us. We'll happy to to answer. You can also link to our go to our link of our our master. There are many many details. Okay. All right. So that's that's all for me from me. Uh, if you have any question. Uh, so, um, maybe I can, um, I see. Quite a few have been answered, but you can go through and, and see if there's any that you can answer live. Yeah, I'll see. Okay, so, uh, so say, can you not tell me about more scholarship? So, uh, the scholarship basically, you know, we, uh, you know, as I was saying, you know, we have some price at the end of the first year, then the, the, uh, we, we, the Italian uh, public education system, uh, uh, you know, uh, is also offering some scholarship, uh, and these is, uh, are based on uh, on family income and also on uh, uh, you know some some of your performance, uh, you know, and you can email us to to have more more information on this uh, accommodations in that uh, Camilla answer. Uh, the kind also this one on the application, uh, also on the tuition fee. Uh, yeah, you can do an internship while you do your uh, your uh, your master. Yes, um, 
well, the, the English, uh, you know, should, should be, yeah, as, as Camilla said, you know, B2 level, I mean, it, you know, that, that you don't require a specific, uh, a specific uh, certificate, but you know, you know, we, you need to be able to to understand, you know, the, the classes and everything. You don't need to definitely to know any Italian; it's all in English. Uh, and yes, you, I think uh, Gavilla already answered. Yes, we do offer uh, uh, program inflation. I mean, we we. I mean, we, the inflation, the inflation in, uh, in, uh, in, in the U.S. is very low. I mean, so in, in uh, uh, you, you know, the, the, as, uh, as Camilla said, you know, you can get the feeling of uh, the cost of in Rome, but it's not going to change much in the future. I mean, we, we have uh, the, the, the inflation is not an issue, I would say, in Europe uh, in the currently, you know, it's, uh, if anything, the inflation has been too low. I mean, it's increasing, but, you know, it's all, uh, you know, manageable. Um, uh, if you, you know, let me see if you have uh, other, okay. Uh, any, any other question? I think there is one more just, just here asking uh, if there is any need to know economics in the background beforehand, before you come? No, I mean, I mean, it, it's better, but you know, not necessarily. As I was saying, you know, we, we admit also students that have a background in political science or engineering. So I think, you know, we, we're going to look from your CV, uh, we, what kind of skills you have, and we're going to judge, uh, you know, if you're interested, apply, let us judge whether you are fit or not. Okay, so that's, uh, uh, that's uh, the, the easy answer. You know, if you're interested, just apply, and then we're going to see uh, whether, you know, the kind of skills you have uh, are going to be, uh, you know, the, the, the correct one to attend this program. Okay, and any advice for any when applying anything extracurricular they should have on their cover letter? No, I mean, yeah, you, you can, uh, the, the cover letter is important to know why you, you are interested in Tor Vergada and, you know, the, the sooner apply, you apply, the better. I mean, for non, I guess most of you, it's not only you citizen, or maybe you are, maybe some of you are, if you are, but the sooner you apply, the better. I think this is the moment to have to apply. So the, the, uh, I think between now and June is, uh, is a good moment to apply. And, you know, you can then have an answer and also plan uh, your, your future. Okay, great. And do you know roughly the time span of that from application process to yeah, is in within within a month we give we give an answer even less you know but uh, within within a month we usually give an answer. Okay, awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for all of your information, uh, and thank you for everything. Today's webinar you have honestly helped us so much understand more about the economics uh, side of things in particular. Um, and if you do have any questions, I've popped the email into the chat for you there. Um, and you can get in touch with Camilla or Francisco from that email and they will get back to you immediately. Uh, any last words, Francisco? No, I, I do hope to see you some of you in uh, Tor Vergada in September. Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much. And thank you, Camilla, for answering all the questions. Uh, we will be in touch very soon. Okay. You watching on record. Bye bye. Take care.